Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video I show you my plans for Game Week 31. But before that, let's look at who did well in Game Week 30. Top scorer for Game Week 30 in the Midnight Mule Mini League was Jonathan Perry with Arsenelli with a massive 92 points. That was from Captain Sun 20, Palmer 15, Isaac 15, Gordon 8, Salah 7, White 6 and Bradley 4. And on top of that he played the bench boost. Munez got six and there were three other players getting one point each. So that was a good score. <laughs> well done. Current leader of our league is Mohamed Sabith K with Artetikas with 63 points they managed. And their team was Captain Sun 20, Palmer 15, Bowen 10, Solanke 7. I think that was all. And on the bench there was Gabriel but a lot of managers would have left their Arsenal defenders on the bench because they're away to Man City, so that's very understandable. As for me, I'm down in 180th, I got 69 points. So that was Palmer 15, Isaac 15, Sun 10, Captain Teller got me 14 points, and Bradley 4. And on my bench, nothing apart from White. Now, for a couple of weeks since Game Week 29, I always intended to Captain Palmer, and even on the morning I was captaining Palmer, but there was so much chatter on social media about doing Sun being the best choice and then Salah. And I'd already discounted Sun, so I was fine with that. But people were saying, oh, if they had Salah, they'd definitely have Salah as captain. And those who did have Salah were captaining Salah or Sun. But when I looked at the numbers, I was like, I think Palmer's the better choice. But ridiculously, even though I try not to do this, I, I gave into public opinion. So that actually cost me eight points in the end by choosing Salah instead of Palmer. Now, I am getting better at not being influenced. The best tip I can give you, if you want to know how to get better at FPL, is don't listen to people's advice. What you get from social media is good tips like if a player's injured or they're not playing, but when it comes to who the best choice is, yeah, listen to people, but don't follow anyone. But thanks for following me. That's good. Uh, yeah, so even though I got an all right score and I got a green arrow, I felt a bit naff because I changed my captain at the last minute. So I got a little green arrow, that's nice, and I'm just inside the half million mark. But more importantly, I'm 290 from top spot. That means if I can score 38 points more than the top player for the remaining eight weeks, I can still win this game. In the cup this week, I got knocked out by Ben Johns and his team Chucklehead. So we're going to look at his team now, and then we we'll keep following him until he gets knocked out. And then we'll follow whoever knocks him out till we get to the final and see who wins. So he had... Captain Sun for 20, Palmer 15, Gordon 8, Solanke 7, Gabriel 6, Bradley 4. And then on the bench, again, an Arsenal defender. So that's understandable. So well done for knocking me out. Thank you to everyone who watches uh, me yabbering on like I do. It's very much appreciated. If you go to the FBL Game Week website, you can see the Content Creators League. They've made one up and you'd see where you'd appear. Current Top content creator is FPL Fran. He's someone I like to watch. He's got 1,944 points. And I should say now if he was in the Midnight Mule League, he would actually be top of that as well. Ben Krellin is currently third. We got Mark Southerns down in seven and we got Harry's in eighth. I'm all the way down in 66th still, but as has slipped slightly, so he's just below me. And we're both just slightly behind Holly, who's in 64th. Game week 31, I do have a transfer planned and I planned this before I played my wild card. And as I've got no major injury concerns, I feel all right playing this. Probably, not definitely, but highly likely. So if we look at Spurs over the next six game weeks, the next three games are good from an attacking point of view. West Ham, Forest and Newcastle, they could certainly get lots of goals there, but they definitely won't get any goals in game week 34 because they're not playing. Then it's the North London derby against Arsenal. Then they're away to Anfield. So game weeks 34 to 36 aren't great. They're probably almost certainly going to double in game week 36. But I think that would be away to Chelsea and away to Liverpool. So that's still not great. So I'm intending to sell Sun to bring in Havertz from Arsenal. If we look at the Arsenal fixtures for the next six game weeks. They're at home to Luton. Then they've got Brighton. Then they're at home to Villa. And then a double, they've got Wolves and Chelsea, and it's the North London derby, then home to Bournemouth, 
Now, I don't know if I keep Havertz all the way up to game week 36, but certainly for the next few game weeks, I think, obviously I think he's a good choice, and I'd rather have him than Sun. Sun is very highly owned, so this could be really nasty for me, and it could cost me a lot of points. But it's what I want to do anyway, so it's probably what I will do. So my team, as it looks, assuming I get Kai in, is Salah, will almost certainly be my captain this week. He's at home to Sheffield United with his two mates, Bradley and Darwin. And then the vice would actually be on Havertz with his two mates, White and Saka. And I've got Foden at home to Villa. And I've got Petrovic at home to Man United with his mate, Palmer. And I've got Trippier at home to Everton with his mate, Isaac. So all 11 of my players, unusually, have got home fixtures. Obviously, Trippier, uh, he may be injured, but he might play. As for my bench, I've got Pickford away to Newcastle. Very unlikely to keep a clean sheet, but he's going to have lots of chances for save points, so I expect to get something there. Watkins away to Man City. Aiton Nori away to Burnley. And then Gusto at home to Man United. As for the background picture, I know I have a lot of kittens in my videos, and sometimes people say, what about the dogs? Well, this is Toto, or supposed to be Toto, from The Wizard of Oz, because The Wizard of Oz was on television yesterday, and I watched it with my youngest, who happens to be the one who drew the logo for this channel. There's a couple of theories behind the message behind The Wizard of Oz. I know it's a ch children's book written in 1900. But there's two theories. One is you've got the gold and originally the slippers were silver and you've got the Emerald City and it's all about the pointless pursuit of wealth. But there's another theory, which is the one that I'd subscribe to, which is the yellow brick road, which again is supposed to be gold. The slippers were silver and gold and silver, of course, that's real money. And then the Emerald City, that represents the greenback, which is the dollar, which is, of course, a fiat currency. And then the wizard, the man behind the curtains, just a normal guy. But he represents like bankers and politicians who make out their experts, all this, that and the other. And they know what they're doing and they're just completely making it up. So anyway, all that just from a, a picture of Toto who's a cane terrier, by the way. So there we have it. That's what happened in Game Week 30 and my plans for Game Week 31. Don't forget the deadlines tomorrow, so do all your crazy changes before then. And I'm sure some of you will be wildcarding tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing who's the top scorer for Game Week 31. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>